What's up everyone? Today I'm going to do something a little different on this channel. I thought it'd be interesting to see how the novels of Kurt Vonnegut are ranked on Goodreads and make a video about it. Kurt Vonnegut was a famous author whose writing style utilized irony, dark humor, and satire. His writing career spanned 50 years and includes 14 published novels. If the name rings a bell, but you don't know why, it's probably because you had to read Slaughterhouse-Five in high school. Anyways, I've read a good portion of his novels, and I wanted to know where to go from there, so I figured I'd check out Goodreads and see how they rank his work. Bear in mind that popularity is sure to affect how a book ranks. Before I go any further, I'm going to try to make some predictions. I know Slaughterhouse-Five is going to be his most popular one, but keeping in mind that that's gonna potentially affect his score, it might not be the top one in the ranking. I bet Mother Knight is gonna be one of his more popular ones. I bet his works of science fiction are gonna be on the lower end. Not popularity-wise, but maybe just the actual rankings of them, they might be lower. I bet Breakfast of Champions is going to be on the higher end, and Galapagos, well if Goodreads is anything like me, they're going to put Galapagos at the, uh, at the bottom. I did not enjoy that book, that was the only book of his I started and DNF'd. Uh, the other ones I've read by him I feel like are just going to be somewhere in the middle, so I can't even really uh, predict where those are going to be. I've also read Cat's Cradle and Dead Eye Dick and... Um, God bless you, Mr. Rosewater. I bet Mr. Rosewater is going to be somewhere on the lower end, probably even forgetting one, of the, one or two of the books I've read by him at this point. I'm, I've read half, if not most, of his novels at this point. But yeah, that's all I got for predictions for now, and I'm going to go to Goodreads and write the rest of the script. Alright, so now that I've compiled the list, I'm a little upset, but at the same time, some of the other predictions I made were pretty accurate. I'll be including the amount of votes and the popularity of each one at the bottom of the screen to help you get a better idea of why a book placed where it did in the rankings, but without further ado, let's just jump on into it. At the bottom of the list, we have Timequake, Vonnegut's last novel, which features Kilgore Trout as a central character. Trout is a fictional author of science fiction novels who appears throughout a good portion of Vonnegut's work. Anyways, this book in particular is about an event known as the Time Quake, where everyone is thrust back in time ten years and forced to relive that time, incapable of changing their actions and losing their free will. That's actually a really interesting premise, and considering this isn't one of Vonnegut's novels I've read, I may give it a read, despite it appearing at the bottom of this list. At number 13 we have Jailbird a book that follows a bureaucrat named Walter F. Starbuck, a co-conspirator of Watergate, the famous Nixon scandal. Considering it's Vonnegut's least popular and second lowest ranking book, I'm thinking I'm going to pass, unless I become a completionist of Vonnegut work. At number 12 is my first surprise, Dead Eye Dick. I actually remember enjoying this book a lot, and thought it would have at least beat out Galapagos, but bear in mind that since it's his second least popular book, its ranking is a lot different than more popular ones. Anyways, this book is about a guy who, as a child, accidentally kills a pregnant woman, and he lives the rest of his life ridden with guilt. It may not sound too interesting, but what if I told you a neutron bomb was involved with this story? Next on the list we have Hocus Pocus, Vonnegut's second to last novel. The book uses a non-linear narrative to tell the story of a college professor named Eugene, who gets fired from his job and is forced to teach at a nearby overcrowded prison. And at number 10 we have Galapagos, the only book by Vonnegut I DNF'd, but if Goodreads thinks it's better than Dead Eye Dick, I may have to check it out again. It's about the last fertile humans on Earth, and how their descendants evolve into an abomination of man and something akin to sea lions. Actually, after reading that plot summary again, I think I'm going to go with my gut and stay away from this one. It just wasn't for me, and I kind of still feel that way. Number 9 on this ranking is Slapstick, or Lonesome No More, which was adapted into a film in 1984, being the second of Vonnegut's books to become a film. The story is about a doctor named Wilbur Swain, who lives in a post-apocalyptic Manhattan with his granddaughter, recounting his past and the time he spent with his twin sister. The book deals with topics such as isolation and how the modern world affects communal living. It's been a while since I've read the book, but I remember it being okay, and I'm not too surprised by its placement on this list. According to Vonnegut himself in his autobiography, Palm Sunday, he received negative reviews from major publications such as the New York Times, 
Newsweek, and Time Magazine, among others. Moving along to number 8, both in terms of popularity and rating, we have Player Piano, the Vonnegut book I'm surprised I haven't read yet. Vonnegut says he was inspired by 1984 and Brave New World, two of my favorite novels, when writing his debut. The book depicts a near-future dystopia where the lower-class workers have been replaced by machines and deals with how technology can impact society. I think I've found the next Vonnegut book I'm going to read, considering I've read all but one of the books left to go through on this list. Number 7 is God Bless You, Mr. Rosewater, a story about millionaire Elliot Rosewater, who travels the country and eventually establishes a foundation dedicated to helping those in need on a local scale in Rosewater, Indiana. This book was the first to introduce Vonnegut's recurring character, Kilgore Trout, and was also turned into a musical in 1979. I remember finding the plot to just be alright when reading through the book, but it definitely still had the wit and charm prevalent throughout Vonnegut's works. Next on this list, number 6, is Bluebeard, the only book left I haven't read, but it's worth noting that it was 10th in terms of popularity, so it may not actually be as good as some of the ones already talked about. Bluebeard is a fictional autobiography about a man named Rabo Karabekian, who has a secret in his windowless potato barn. The book deals with the meaning of art and artwork in general, and considering that's a major theme, the story has piqued my interest. Number 5 is Breakfast of Champions, which features Kilgore Trout as one of its two main characters, the other being a man who comes to take Trout's science fiction as fact. I remember the book being one of Vonnegut's more humorous ones, while also being an insightful and thought-provoking read, but despite being one of his most popular books, Vonnegut himself was not particularly happy with it. The novel was adapted into a film in 1999, which was panned by critics, and never saw a widespread release. At number 4 we have Vonnegut's most popular work of all time, and arguably his best novel, which yes, I know is subjective, but still, it goes to show how popularity can affect the ranking on this sort of list. I wouldn't be surprised if angry high school students who were forced to read this book have negatively affected its score, although 4.08 is still a really good score for Goodreads. The book follows Billy Pilgrim, an American soldier who survives the famous bombing of Dresden, something Vonnegut himself survived. It's a truly moving work of fiction that I implore everyone to read, and if you didn't like it in high school, maybe go back to it now that you don't have to write a book report on it, and see what you think. It's also worth noting that the book was adapted into film in 1972, one that was critically acclaimed. Number 3 came as a big surprise to me, mainly because I thought Vonnegut's science fiction would be lower on this list, but Sirens of Titan is very high up here. Don't get me wrong, I did enjoy the book a lot, but I assumed science fiction would be lower on this list. It's also his fourth most popular, so there isn't much of a discrepancy between popularity and rating here. Anyways, Sirens of Titan was Vonnegut's second novel, and follows the adventure of Earth's richest man as he travels through space and time. The book deals with themes of morality, free will, and purpose, and now that I consider that, I'm less surprised at this book's ranking on the list. Coming in at number 2 is Cat's Cradle, a story that follows a professional writer as he attempts to write a book about the atomic bombing of Hiroshima, soon discovering that one of the creators of the atomic bomb has developed a potentially more destructive substance known as Ice-9, which may be in the hands of the creator's adult children. And at number 1 is Mother Night which isn't much of a surprise to me considering how good it is. Mother Knight is about an American spy on trial in Israel after World War II, one who used to create propaganda for the Nazi party before being swayed into life as a double agent. The novel is framed as a memoir by the main character, a man by the name of Howard W. Campbell Jr., and was adapted into a movie in 1996, 34 years after its initial publication. If you've only read Slaughterhouse-Five, I would personally recommend this novel, considering it's my second favorite after his classic. And so that was our list of how Goodreads ratings ranks the novels of Kurt Vonnegut. Popularity did seem to have some effect on the ratings as a whole, so I recommend taking this list with a grain of salt when picking what Vonnegut book to pick up next. Let me know in the comments below how I can maybe improve this type of listing, as I may do it again, although I'm not entirely sure yet. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and have a great evening.